NMR stands for Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. Basically, how it works is just in the name NMR, so Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. Nuclei of certain atoms, when they're placed in a magnetic field, absorb radio frequency energy. And it's understanding that absorption and how it's related to the structure of molecules that makes NMR work. Cornerstone of uh, analysis is the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. What the NMR is capable of doing is telling you the kind of environment that protons or hydrogen atoms have in a molecule. And if you can read the code, you can tell a lot about the structure of a molecule. We can do simple molecules, and that's what our organic uh, people uh, use. And you can do complex molecules, and that's what our biochemists uh, use. Students that uh, prepare samples in their organic chemistry lab or in biochemistry class or in their research here put them into, a, into an NMR tube which goes into the center of that magnet and that's where the magnetic field is very homogeneous and allows one to study the interactions of the radio frequency waves with the, their sample of interest. Students that are sophomores typically taking organic chemistry lab when they make a sample they can come down and because this spectrometer is equipped with a sample changer, it can actually accommodate 60 samples at a time, the student can come down, put their sample into the sample queue, and go over to the computer and just type in what experiments they want it to run, and it'll run that, and then send the data back up to the organic chemistry lab so they can look at it on the computers up there. So they can come down with just a, and using just a very minimal amount of interaction, collect their data. The NMR is a large magnet, so if you look behind me, you can see that there's warning signs that say high magnetic field, there's a carpet on the floor mentioning that it's a high magnetic field. And so if you're someone that has a pacemaker or a metal implant, you need to stay outside of the room and there's signs on the door to keep you away from that. And if you're getting closer to the machine, like if you're a student coming to, to load a sample into the auto sampler carousel, you shouldn't be wearing a watch, you shouldn't have any credit cards and things like that that can be affected by a magnetic field. There's also a uh, special ventilating system uh, just in case there's what we call a quench and all of the cryogens, uh, we have liquid nitrogen and liquid helium cooling down the magnet. Uh, if that in any way quenched and therefore warmed up, that room would very rapidly fill up with uh, helium and nitrogen and would displace all the oxygens. In order to avoid that, there's a special ventilating system that will rapidly ventilate as soon as that uh, would take place. <laughs>